Hello friends, in the previous lesson we learnt about the substitution method to solve a pair of linear equations having two variables. In this lesson we will learn another way to solve a pair of linear equation in two variables. This method is called elimination method. Let us take an example. Aman went to the shop to buy one yellow rubber ball and one white leather ball. Now the shop owner gave options of two packs. Option 1, a pack of two yellow rubber balls and one white leather ball in 149 rupees. And option 2, a pack of three yellow rubber balls and two white leather ball in 286 rupees. But Aman needs one of each. The shopkeeper said, if you can tell me the price of one yellow rubber ball and one white leather ball, then I can give you that combination. Let's help Aman. Say the price of a yellow rubber ball is X rupees and the price of white leather ball is Y rupees. So in the first option, price of two yellow rubber balls that is 2 times x plus 1 white ball that is y rupees should add up to 149 rupees and for the second option price of 3 yellow rubber balls that is 3x rupees plus 2 white leather balls that is 2y rupees should add up to 286 rupees. So we got a pair of linear equations with two variables. Remember the variable x and y are same for both the equations. It's the coefficients that are changing. The price of yellow rubber ball and white leather ball is same in both the packs. Just the pack composition is different. How many balls are in that? We can solve the equations only if we somehow eliminate one variable. We can actually eliminate one variable directly rather than substitution. For that, we have to make the coefficient of one variable same in both the equations and then we can subtract the equations right look 2x and 3x to make them same we have to make them 6x because LCM of 2 and 3 is 6 for that we need to multiply both left hand side and right hand side of the first equation by 3 and for the second equation by then it will become 6x in both the equations and we can eliminate x by subtracting the first equation from second. Is there any other method? Look y and 2y. If we multiply left hand side of the first equation by 2, its coefficient would become 2y and then we can eliminate y. That sounds easier because we need to do in only one equation compared to the two equations. So let's do that. So we multiply both left hand side and right hand side of the first equation by 2. Remember, you cannot just multiply left hand side or right hand side. You have to multiply by same value on both left hand side and right hand side to get an equivalent e equation. So after multiplying the first equation 2x plus y equal to 149 by 2, we get 4x plus 2y equal to 298. That is, we multiplied 2 on both the sides. Let's call this new equation as equation 3, which is an equivalent representation of equation 1. We write equation 2 below it, write it in a way that x term is below x term, y term is below y term and the constant term is below the constant term. Now you can see coefficient of y is same in equation 2 and 3. Now we do equation 3 minus equation 2. Because of minus sign, all the signs will be changed for the second equation. So we add the new signs below all the signs in the second equation were positive before so it becomes negative 
So we write a big line below it. So now look at equation 3 and 2 vertically for each term. 4x minus 3x equal to x. 2y minus 2y cancel e each other. That is, it is 0. 298 minus 286 is equal to 12. So x equal to 12. That is, cost of yellow rubber ball is 12 rupees. If we put this value of x in any of the equations, we get the value of y. Equation 1 was simplest. 2x plus y equal to 149. So replacing x by 12, we get 2 into 12 plus y is equal to 149. Or y equal to 149 minus 24, which is equal to 125. So the cost of white leather ball is equal to 125 rupees. So Aman needs to pay rupees 12 plus rupees 125 that is equal to rupees 137 for getting one yellow rubber ball and one white leather ball. And the shopkeeper was very happy with his correct calculations and he gave him one yellow rubber ball and one white rubber ball for a total of 137 rupees. So this process of solving a pair of linear equations with two variables by eliminating any one of the variable is called elimination method. We eliminated one variable and then the equation boils down to one variable. Then we solve it and then use that variable's value in any of the equation to find the value of other variable. Keep practicing friends. Bye-bye.